But you've mentioned the Queen's Ferry Crossing, and obviously that's a very successful major infrastructure uh, project in Scotland. Can you explain why you're claiming credit for your involvement in that when you actually had no part in the design of it, um, nothing to do with the contract awards or the building? And in fact, what you were responsible for was a six-month delay. Uh, no, I actually came in under budget. And of course, I completed but the project. that wasn't anything to do with you. I accept, and you can sit here and feel free to attack the SNP's record in the Queen's Ferry Crossing. I don't think it's going to do us I'm any not attacking the SNP's record. You record are. Record. You're, suggest I'm you're suggesting I'm that it wasn't you. a successful... No, I did not say that. Hold on. Don't let's, put words in my mouth. Let's not, let's not interrupt each other. You. I'm answering your question. Well, I'm, you're not answering the question I've asked you. I am. I, I oversaw the completion you. of the Queen's Fleet no. Crossing and under budget. You were, a tremendous came in at the end, program. one year from the end of a 10-year project. So I'm asking you... So you, th you think I had nothing to do... How responsible you were for that project and why you were claiming credit for that. I think the best will in the world, you're just to suggest that somebody who was Transport Minister, as I was, for a year overseeing a major infrastructure project, to think I didn't have any role in it. My role, of course, is to make sure I brought it in under budget. But to criticise the SNP government for delivering that phenomenal Queen's Ferry Crossing... I have crossing, not. I have not criticised I think it's not going to win us support for independence. It's giving ammunition I've said, to I've, our opposition. I've started my remarks quite literally by saying that it was a very successful infrastructure project. Let's You're not obviously give, not listening to what I'm give. saying.